Hi there, welcome to the Dreamkeeper channel. So this one's called Oak Island, the Ark of the Covenant and the Third Temple. And it's it's basically like a theory I have. I don't know if anybody else has it or that, maybe. But uh, for me it's quite a fascinating, don't know if it's true or no or that, but it's just, I love thinking about stuff like this. It's really interesting. So there's... There's basically a like a I don't know if, if people heard about Oak Island, so it's like a an island in Nova Scotia, and uh, like in uh, North America, and there's like a it's been like a treasure a treasure hunt for the past few hundred years gone on on it, uh, so there's like a a thing called the Money Pit. It's basically like there's they found like a a big hole. I, like I th I'm sure it's like twelve feet wide hole, and it goes down so far. And there's meant to be like treasure or something hidden underneath it. Yeah, but the the mythology and that and all the theories that surround it is really fascinating to me. It's something like I followed that there's a series on the History Channel about it. And I followed it for like years and years and years. I think it's got it went on about ten years now, but. Uh, they found all different artefacts and stuff. They never found that the treasure or, or whatever that is that's buried there. Yeah. But everybody thinks it is still there. So the like there's lots of different theories about what's down there. Who buried it? Was it the Knights Templar? Was it pirates? Was it the Spanish? Was it the Portuguese? It's all different theories. It could like even like the Vikings are getting related to it and stuff. Yeah, but for me, I quite like the theory that goes like the the Knights Templar were in Jerusalem during the Crusades and they were at the Temple Mount. That's where they had their base. But there were stories that they were digging underneath it, looking for the or the the treasures of the temple. That would be the second temple in Jerusalem. And uh, the the story goes that they found stuff, and uh, like that's how like they go outlawed and banned, and uh, basically they all go like uh, disbanded and burnt at the stake and tortured and stuff. Uh, but the story is that they took that treasure, like the Ark of the Covenant, the Golden Menorah. They've travelled up through like Europe with it. They've came to Scotland. They went to Roslyn Chapel because eh, the, the family that built that have connections up up in, I think it's like Orkney or Shetland Islands, way up north in Scotland. That's connected to the Vikings. They would have known about Nova Scotia. So it's went up for like for Jerusalem, up through Europe into Scotland, then for there over to North America, over to Oak Island. And that's where it's been buried in a... Eh, like in a secure, it's almost like a like a safe, although it's underground and it's all like made out of wood and stuff, there's like booby traps and flood tunnels and it's just, it is like a big puzzle I think that's what it draws people in and fascinates people but for me that's what, what they started off at, at the, the Temple Mount, went up through Europe to Scotland, took it to there, deposited it there and the, with the idea that they were going to build the new Jerusalem in America, and that like they would take all the artifacts to do that kind of thing, uh, and for whatever reason, maybe they did do it, maybe they never. If it's still there, they obviously never done it. But my thinking is that if, because uh, the story is with the Ark of the Covenant, is like it's still, it's not been destroyed or that. It's just been hidden or it's hiding itself, and it will be found when the time is right. And for me, the time would be right when they find it in Oak Island, and then what would happen, would that would be that would allow, like if, the, if they found the, the Ark of the Covenant and the Golden Menorah and that, then that would allow like the Israelis and the Jews to rebuild the Third Temple, because they, they can't build the, a temple on the Temple Mount again now, because you've got the the Islamic Temple eh, 
on, on it kind of thing. So nobody, like, you couldn't knock that down. It would cause, like, World War Three kind of thing. So I think the only thing that would allow them to build the Third Temple would be finding the Ark of the Covenant and the Golden Menorah and all the stuff that came at the Second Temple that got destroyed. Uh, so that that's, like, my theory with it all. And uh, so once they find that in Oak Island, they'll rebuild the Third Temple. And then, uh, obviously, like, that signifies, like, Armageddon, the Antichrist, and the return of Jesus and all this. Kind of, it's, it's really, it's like a, a fascinating, really deep dive story. There's that much mythology about it. There's history. It's all kind of mishmash. There's people like me that just come up with their own kind of theories but for me it's a story the Oak Island stories like captivated me since since I found out about it really yeah and it seems to do that and I think it's because it like well it involves like history mythology archaeology science it's like a obviously a treasure hunt there's like it's it's almost like a puzzle as well. And I think puzzles, like humans are drawn to them because we like challenges and we like to solve puzzles. Uh, so it is, it's fascinating. And it's for me, obviously it's, it's quite cool, like with the theory that it came to Scotland and that, because like Roslyn Chapel I visited there. It's just like not that far from me. And uh, I've been inside it and that, and I've been to like Roslyn Castle got blew up so it's just like a ruin and you've got Roslyn Glen that obviously the castle and the chapel sit in it's like a beautiful place and I'm actually going to visit it pretty soon and I'll make a, an ASMR video when I'm there I'll not go into the chapel though because last time I went you weren't allowed to video or anything so uh, and I've already seen it so there's no point in going back in but I love just visiting anyway and just wandering the, like the grounds and stuff so keep an eye out for that that'll be an ASMR nature walk and it'll, it'll be like Roslyn Chapel, Castle and Glen but back to this one I do think it is just like if, you, if you've heard about it you'll know what I'm saying it just the story draws people in and if you've not heard about it and you like this kind of stuff, you should definitely look look into it and that like it involves everybody for like I say, it could be like the Knights Templar in the medieval times, it could be pirates, like pirates of the Caribbean times. Uh, it's got like Masonic kind of uh, connections. There's like like presidents of America were digging on the island. Uh, there's, it's just like it's so much like you could go on and on and on but it's for me that would be my theory that the Knights Templar found the Ark of the Covenant and the, the treasures for the temple underneath the, the Temple Mount took it up through Europe into Scotland across to North America and deposited it in Oak Island uh, and then once that's found that will allow the third temple to be rebuilt and then like the Antichrist, the Armageddon, Return of Jesus, all that kind of stuff. So it's quite, it's probably quite a wild uh, like theory or, or like it's maybe even just fantasy kind of thing in my head in my in my head that I make up. But I quite enjoy these kind of stories and these kind of because it does involve everything and I, I just love hearing about things like that and it just for me, it's just why they, like, it's went on for what could be like, uh, it's went on for hundreds of years. It might be even be, I uh, but what would it be, about 800 years or something it's been gone on for. And uh, nobody's really sussed out or worked it out. I think for the past two or three hundred years, people's actively been digging on the island, looking for treasure and stuff. It's even got, they're meant to found a stone with carvings in it, symbols, and then on the island there's like big boulders all set out and a cross and they align with the stars and it's like a really, really deep kind of puzzle kind of thing. Like it really draws me in and also a lot of other people. 
So, but that that's my theory on it anyway. It's maybe just a bit fun. I'm not saying it's like a serious theory or anything like that. But uh, if if you've if you've been interested in Oak Island and stuff, I'd be interested to hear what what your theory on it is, and uh, just share it in the comments. Because for me, like there's all different. It's could be Knights Templar, it could be pirates, it could be Vikings, it, it could be all them, could be M Masons like the Masonic Order. It, it could be anybody. So I love I love just discussing it though. I'd I'd love to hear what your theory is. And if you've watched the series or no. But eh, uh, that's that for this one anyway. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon.